Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to mention that subtitles are available, so in case I mispronounce a word, you will have subtitles on to correct any error. You can also check me out on my socials, which will be linked in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Is it true that you don't like cameras? Is it true that I what? You don't like cameras? No, that's not true at all. I love Arabs. I love um, all people of the world. Just a good example how people make up stories that aren't true. Being a Michael Jackson fan means something unique to each of us. It might be his music, artistry, humanitarian spirit, or powerful way of connecting with the world that inspires us. But today, let's talk about what being a fan doesn't have to mean. In this video, we will cover seven important things every Michael Jackson fan should remember. As fans, we often feel pressure to be perfect or defend Michael at every turn. But being a fan isn't about me meeting anyone else's standards. It's about what Michael's legacy means to you personally. So whether you're a longtime fan or just starting to dive into his work, remember there is no single right way to love Michael. Now before we start, I just want to give a major shout out to Daryl Joel for posting his his thread on Instagram. You may recognize him from part two of my unreleased explaining series. Also, this guide is not only for Michael Jackson fans, but fans in, in any fandom in general. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Number one, you are not obligated to defend Michael at every turn. One of the most difficult things for a fan of a public figure as polarizing as Michael Jackson is, is handling criticism or attacks from detractors. Many many feel a responsibility to stand up for him, to educate others, and to counteract false information. But it's essential to prioritize your mental health as well. Constantly engaging with detractors can can be exhausting and even more da damaging to say the least. Not everyone criticizes Michael from a place of genuine inquiry. Many detractors are not interested in understanding his life and legacy and instead aim to provoke and diminish fans. Engaging with them often feels like talking to a brick wall. If you find these interactions draining, remember that you have the right to block or ignore negative comments. You're not a fake fan for refusing to engage in every, in every single argument. Your worth as a fan isn't determined by how many online battles you win. It's defined by the joy and inspiration you find in Michael's work. Number two, you don't have to love every single song or album. With a, disc with a discography of over 300 songs and a vast catalog of unreleased material, Michael Jackson's music spans genres and styles. Some tracks resonate with others and that's entirely normal. You're no, you you are no less of a fan if you don't if you don't connect with every single song. Disliking certain tracks or having favorites is natural and personal. Take me for example. There are some songs on Blood on the Dance Floor and Invincible that I find to be weak tracks, and that's okay. Michael's music means different things to different people, and it's unrealistic to expect anyone to have an emotional connection to every single piece of music he created. Number three, your religious or political beliefs are your own. You do not have to change your religious or political views just to make them align with Michael's. Michael Jackson himself was a spiritual person, but he never imposed his beliefs on others. He, uh, he instead encouraged individuality and freedom of, of thought, values that made him such a beloved figure to fans from all walks of life. If you believe in something different, embrace it. Being true to your beliefs honors Michael's legacy more than sim simply copying his. He championed authenticity and respect for individual individuality. So holding your own beliefs, whether religious, political, or moral, is most only acceptable but a testament to his influence. Number four, and I cannot stress this enough, Michael Jackson would have supported the LGBTQ plus fans. Some fans and critics project their prejudice onto Michael, claiming he would have disapproved of LGBTQ plus individuals. 
In reality, Michael Jackson never, never expressed homophobic sentiments. He openly welcomed all fans regard regardless of, his back of their background and never condemned anyone for their sexuality. The notion that he would reject anyone based on their sexual orientation is unfounded and reflects others' biases rather than Michael's values. He stated that he didn't mind if he had gay fans and never condemned them for their sexuality. Michael's legacy is one of love, inclusivity, and compassion. He believed in treating people with respect and kindness, and that includes LGBTQ fans. The idea that someone's sexuality would alter his, his opinion of them goes against everything he stood for. Number 5. It's fine to have a partner and still admire Michael. Michael Jackson's influence is so powerful that many fans feel deeply connected to him, sometimes even, sometimes even romantically. If, you, if you're in a relationship and still find Michael Jackson attractive, that's okay. Being drawn to a beloved celebrity, especially one with such charisma and talent, is natural. Your admiration doesn't diminish your commitment to your partner. Feeling inspired by Michael or, or appreciating his physical appearance doesn't mean you're unfaithful. It's a form of admiration and appreciation for someone who changed lives and inspired generations. Only an insecure partner would feel threatened by your love for an icon who, as a deceased public figure, cannot pose a real-world romantic threat. Number 6. You do not have to love children just because Michael did. Michael's love for children was genuine, as he found joy and inspiration for, for, the, curio for the curiosity, innocence, and creativity. But being a fan doesn't mean you have to share that that infinity. Not everyone enjoys being around kids, and that's entirely okay. Loving Michael's legacy doesn't mean you have to mirror his personal preferences or life choices. Some fans feel pressure to adopt certain traits or interests because they perceive them as, as part of being a true fan. But Michael's connection with children was personal to him, and he would never expect others to feel the same, the same way. Being a fan is about embracing what you love about Michael while trying to be true to yourself. And lastly, number seven, taking breaks from Michael Jackson's music is very healthy. It's okay to want to take a break from listening to Michael's music now and then. Music is a deeply personal journey and sometimes even the biggest fans need a break. Expanding your musical horizon is very important. Listening to other artists, rappers, singers, or exploring different genres doesn't make you any less of a fan. Expanding your musical taste can deepen your appreciation for Michael by helping you understand the, the diversity of influences that shaped his work. And it's also okay to explore new interests like and different fandoms, artists, bands, what have you. Although, although it is a case for some, being a Michael Jackson fan doesn't have to last your entire life. It's okay if your obsession with him was just a phase. Even for him, even for him, there's no guarantee that any obsession will last forever. In conclusion, being a Michael Jackson fan or a fan of any artist is a personal experience. There's no formula or standard you must follow. If you love his music, connect with his art, and respect his legacy, that's all it really matters. Defining your fandom according to your comfort, beliefs, and mental well-being is not only acceptable, but necessary. Michael Jackson's life was about love, acceptance, and individuality. He taught us that everyone deserves respect regardless of their beliefs, interests, or preferences. So it's best to honor his legacy by embracing our unique interpolation of his work and respecting each other's journey. Being a fan isn't about perfection or fitting into anyone else's mold. It's about celebrating the lasting impact of a, of a remarkable artist in a way that feels right for you. Well, folks, that's the end of this week's video. I just wanted to apologize for not uploading as much as I should. One word, college. That's all you need to know. But as soon as winter break starts, I can get back to making video essays. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. Big shout out to Daryl Joel, whose thread 
gave me the idea for this video. You can find him on Instagram at Daryl Joel's and Angel. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more con for more content like this. Also, if you're in America, don't forget to vote. Your vote does matter, so if you so if you can, please vote. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.